Hello everyone! So, you may have recently seen me that I've purchased one of these Ocean Free Hydro Filters. This is basically an update to tell you how I'm getting on with it, um, my opinions on it, um, and how it has worked out throughout the store that I work in. I've done it in a few different tanks there. So firstly, in my own tank, I am pretty damn happy with it. Two major results. Hey, you can see my reflection. Two major results from uh, from my own use. Firstly, my aquarium water is the clearest it has ever been. Um, now, usually I get a lot of yellowing from this wood, from these plants, all that stuff. But no, literally, it stays clear as uh, a clear thing. Very clear. And uh, really happy with that. Second result is my nitrates. So my nitrates are always usually quite low, about 10, which I'm happy with. The plants need a bit of nitrate anyway. But uh, with the Hydra, essentially, that's, an, that's a nitrate test I've just done. Almost, uh, almost zero, which is cool, really cool. So essentially, what the Hydra is doing is breaking down ammonia and other nitrogen compounds a lot faster than the bacteria normally would and it gets it straight out of the tank in a gaseous form and it seems to be doing a hell of a job considering I've got a, uh, a Burke here, which I just scared catfish up there, I've got um, a Tenopoma who's like huge which she never comes out, there look got a Tenopoma few other ancestors and I'm going to be adding some rainbow fish and stuff like that and I feed pretty heavily um, twice a day usually with um, new era pellets to have a nitrate of practically zero I think is insane and it's all to do with this filter so at work I've used it on um, some tropical tanks uh, in fact a huge 200 or 300 litre tank with some massive goldfish, we're talking potato size, fancy goldfish and their water again is clear as uh, crystal, yeah that's a better one, clear as crystal and their ammonia is zero, their nitrite zero and nitrate again is almost at zero, so amazing. Now in my marine setup, display tank that I've put it on um, it's a full reef aquarium, it's about 250 litres, so uh, it's got some tangs and bits and pieces in there. Again, fed quite heavily. The nitrate has settled into 5, um, which considering the loading of it, I think it's pretty good. Um, and the phosphate is steady at 0.1. Now another thing that hydras do is they keep phosphate down. They basically precipitate it out um, into a form that's still picked up by test kits but isn't actually used by anything or can be used by anything so you know it's increased sorry it's decreased the nitrates and phosphates in this marine setup and within the systems that it's used on it has really really helped with water clarity one thing I have heard from another store though is uh, they use these on their um, marine setups and they dose some copper um, treatment for you know medical reasons, white spot, whatever. And uh, the Hydra, because it uses some kind of electric current that goes through there, it apparently did something to the copper treatment and caused some of the fish to die. So don't really know what the chemical reaction is there but I guess if you get certain chemicals that are in aquarium treatments um, pass a current across them something happens and they turn toxic so there's a lesson learned don't use a hydra in um, an aquarium where you're dosing medications or if you are using medications turn them off and I do think in the uh, guide for these hydras it does tell you to turn them off so they covered their asses on that one anyway so, all good news from the Hydra front. So, yeah, overall, well impressed. And I hope this has been useful in helping you to decide whether or not you want to purchase one of these things. And uh, happy fish keeping!